Well, hi everybody. I am so happy that you are with your group. Maybe you're just by yourself, you know? Some people are good company all alone. <laughs> anyway, whoever you're with, I wanna welcome you. And this weekend, we're having a lot of fun talking about adventure. And in your group study, I want you to just take a look at Acts chapter 13, verses one through three, because even in that first verse where it lists all those people, that's important. Because the kingdom of God is about doing things that are adventurous, but rarely do we do them alone. That's why you're in a group. That's why I have three small groups in my life. And I love every one of them for different reasons. So I just wanna encourage you with a couple of thoughts today. As you talk about this, ask the question of yourself, am I someone who is willing to go on an adventure with God? Am I someone who is willing to take the risks that I need to take? And then I want you to talk about that with each other. Matter of fact, I'd love for you to find out in your group, like who's the biggest risk taker? Who's the best planner? Because risk takers like me need to be connected to planners like my wife, Bonnie. That saves my life sometimes. So anyway, as you talk about this, also be prayerful about a couple other things. Note that God has always been a God of adventure. And sometimes I watch people who walk with the Lord for a long time and it starts out very adventurous, but then they get bored. And I just wanna say this, God hasn't changed. If I'm bored in my Christian walk, it's because of what I'm doing, not what God is doing or isn't doing. I've got to own that. And I've said it for years. You've heard me say it. When was the last time you did something for the first time? The church here in Antioch is about to send Paul and Barnabas on a journey. They are teachers. They are well-respected. They're the cream of the crop. And here they are saying, the Spirit is saying go. So even they are willing to let go of what they are comfortable with. Are you? <laughs> I'm not that good at that. And let me tell you something, as a pastor all these years, any change that we make at Timberline Church, somebody's unhappy. Somebody's unhappy. Oh, you moved the chairs. Well, it's the wrong color. We put the carpet in and it's not the color that I like. I like the old, old way better. Why don't we sing that song anymore? <laughs> we get stuck. And God is saying, hey, let's go over there. Let's walk on a journey. You look at the greats of the Bible. They were men and women who said yes to the adventure. So talk about that. Get into each other's world. Ask each other those hard questions. Are you bored? Why? And when was the last time you did something for the first time? Not just to make it happen, but because God tapped you on the heart because God makes a way where there is no other way. So pray about that, talk about that, think about it, and enjoy Acts 13, verses one through three. See you next time, have fun talking, bye.